wow. Just wow. That's really the way I feel about this game. Bloodborne has been uh, a very, very pleasant surprise in 2015. I thought the game was going to be good. I didn't know if I would love it the way that I do. I didn't know that I would like obsess over it the way that I'm doing. Uh, and I'm really happy that there's been an exclusive that has this much pool <laughs> in, in 2015. I didn't know, honestly, if I would even like this game uh, the way that I do. And, and it's not just me. I'm looking at the Metacritic, looking at the scores around the world, looking at the reviews of the game, looking at everybody on my friends list playing it. This game is amazing. Uh, and, and they've done so many things right. There's a few hiccups here and there. You know, there's some frame rate issues. Every now and then it's a noticeable frame rate dip. Uh, and uh, there's also an, an incredibly ridiculous load time after you die. But other than that, I can't say there's anything I would change about this game. As someone who never really got into the Souls series, uh, I didn't know whether or not I would even like it. I just knew there was a lot of hype behind Bloodborne. And uh, I'm really happy to say that this is my favorite exclusive of the year. Up until now, Ori and the Blind Forest was my uh, favorite exclusive of the year and uh, my favorite game of the year has been uh, Dying Light but I don't even know if I can say that now uh, I, I've been playing single player side by side with my wife and uh, Bloodborne is just a, a very 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 fun experience I don't know if I like it more at this point than I do Dying Light because I actually beat Dying Light and kept playing that game for hours and hours and hours I'm only about seven or eight hours in on this game but uh, it really is an amazing exclusive uh, from software. You guys did an amazing job. This is a big thumbs up to Sony for finally getting an exclusive right. You know, Sony has some exclusives for PlayStation 4 that just to me do not are not must have games. You know, there's Infamous Second Son, there's Killzone, uh, Knack. You know, there's just some games that have been released on PS4 that are exclusive that are not must play games. Barring The Last of Us, you know, The Last of Us is a few years old. Finally, we have something good. Finally, we have something that I think most of the, the team can appreciate. And uh, I think Bloodborne is an amazing game. It's extremely hard. The game is very, very hard, but that is the reward to be able to learn the enemy's moves, to learn how they attack, to upgrade your own stuff, try new weapons, put on new gear. And, uh, and persevere in this world. It's been a hell of an experience so far. I'm loving this game. This is all I'm playing. And uh, I want you guys' thoughts. What do you think about Bloodborne so far? If you're playing the game, is it just me? Is the game really this good? Is it really this good? And uh, let me know in the comments what's the hardest game you've ever played. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.